Let's do the CO3 2 minus Lewis structure, the carbonate ion. Carbon has four valence electrons, oxygen has six, we have three oxygens, and this negative two means we have an extra two valence electrons. Add that all up, four plus 18 plus two, 24 valence electrons. Carbon is the least electronegative, put that at the center, three oxygens go around the carbon. We'll put two electrons between the atoms, form chemical bonds. We've used six, and then around the oxygens, eight, 10, and 24. So we've used all 24 valence electrons. All have octets, eight valence electrons. The carbon, however, only has six valence electrons. Let's move two valence electrons from here to form a double bond with the carbon. So this oxygen still has eight valence electrons, but now the carbon has eight valence electrons, and we're still using only 24 valence electrons. So the formal charges do make sense here because the black oxygens here and here both have a charge, formal charge of negative one, and the other, the carbon and the other oxygen are zero. So negative one plus negative one, that does match up with what we have for the carbonate ion here. Because of that, this is the best Lewis structure for CO3 2 minus. There's one last thing we need to do. Because the CO3 2 minus ion has a charge of negative 2, we need to put brackets around our Lewis structure and put that negative 2 outside so everyone knows that it is an ion and it has a negative 2 charge. And that's it. That's the Lewis structure for CO3 2 minus. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.